Lesson 2.6 is about theorems related to supplements and complements. So the big idea of this lesson is that supplements and complements of congruent angles are themselves congruent. And it follows from that that supplements or complements of the same angle are also congruent. So we'll show with a few quick illustrations uh, how logical this is. Okay, so let's take a look at these three angles, A, B, and C. Notice that A is a 50 degree angle and angle C is a 130 degree angle. Therefore, we know that A and C are supplements of each other. They are supplementary. Now, let's say that I further told you that B and C are supplementary. Well, what would you automatically know about the measure of angle B? What would you know it is? Well, you would know if it's supplementary to 130 degree angle C that angle B must be 50. So the big idea is that if A and B are both supplementary to the same angle, angle C, then they must be congruent to each other. So A and B have the same measure because they're both supplementary to the same angle. So we could modify this a bit. I could add two angles here, angle C and angle D, and I could tell you that A and C are supplementary to each other, and B and D are supplementary to each other. And if I tell you that uh, angle C and D are congruent to each other, then I know if A is congruent to an angle, or supplementary to an angle, and B is supplementary to an angle, and those two angles, C and D, are congruent to each other, then again, we must know that angle A and angle B must be congruent as well. So I bet you can already figure out how this applies to complements as well. So again, we have three angles, A, B, and C. Let's say that A is 40 degrees and angle C is 50 degrees. Therefore, A and C are complements of each other. They are complementary angles. Okay, let's say I have further information that B, angle B, is also complementary to angle C. Well, if that's the case, what do you know that angle B's measurement has to be? Well, you know if it's complementary to a 50 degree angle, it has to be 40 degrees as well. So again, if A and B are both complementary to the same angle C, then A and B must be congruent to each other. Therefore, you know, complements to the same angle are congruent to each other. And again, uh, we can say that complements to the same angle or to congruent angles are congruent to each other. So I've added angles C and D, both 50 degrees. So if I know that uh, angle A and angle C are complementary, and I know that angle B and angle D are complementary, and I can see that C and D are congruent to each other, it's just like both A and B being complementary to the same angle. If they're com both complementary to 50 degree angles, then they both must be congruent. They must both be 40 degree angles. So in a nutshell, supplements and complements of congruent angles or the same angle are themselves congruent. And that's it.